Hey guys, welcome back to Exotic Car Hacks. So I decided today to actually pull out some of the keys from my current cars in my vault and uh, show you guys the difference in keys from manufacturer because you heard me complain about the AMG GT key and how it looked like a C-Class. Uh, and here I have, I just pulled out whatever I could find here that was in my man cave. And uh, I still own every one of these cars. And so I wanted to talk about the different keys for different cars. And we are gonna start with one of my all time favorite keys, the 4GT key. This is the 4GT key from a 2006 4 option 4GT. It has the same remote that they used to give you for the um, Ford Focus. And here you can see you have the best and most exciting key. This is a $30 key, so it's not that hard to get extras made if you ever lose it. Uh, pretty cool key. No, this is just a joke, I'm being sarcastic. The next key is actually the new 4GT. Uh, they took it right out of the first playbook, uh, showing you that they truly don't care about the fact that you spent 600K on a car, and instead just gave you the key from a Ford Raptor and just wrote GT in the back. I'm sure this is the same key that comes in a Mustang as well. Uh, effective key, completely useless, but effective, not very exciting for, huh? Okay, so not very effective of a key for, uh, for an old car, but yet $600,000 key. Okay, whatever. Uh, Lamborghini with their really cool key for, this is the STO key, an Audi key. As you can see, nothing really special about it. Just a base Audi key. Nothing to see, nothing to think about it. They actually took it right out of the Aventador key. The Aventador key is a little bit uh, similar because the STO actually does not have a trunk like the rest of the Huracans. So they basically took an Aventador key and mimicked it, which is fine. The Aventador also comes with an extra key, which is to open the bonnet in the back uh, and be able to access the engine. On the STO, the bonnet, uh, like 3D printed key is in the car, so you don't get an extra one. But this is basically the STO and the SVJ, exactly identical keys, minus one has an extra little key. All right, so next we look at uh, a McLaren key. This is the McLaren Senna key looks identical to a 570S. Uh, very, very crappy key. Really plastic, not really exciting for a million dollar car. Looks like a spaceship. Yeah, but they all look like spaceships. Yeah, so I don't think it matters if you have a million dollar spaceship or a $10 million one or a $300,000 one. They still give you the same crappy key. But I guess all manufacturers kind of do that. I mean, we just saw that with Ford, right? But anyways, so McLaren, not very impressed. Maybe impressed back in the day for the 570, not so much anymore. Uh, they kind of, you know, screwed it. But look, even the P1 key, I just want to show you the P1 key just looks so much more quality, uh, so much more quality than the McLaren Senna key. Like it's smaller, it's better crafted, even though this is way older, but you can see the buttons have a better feel. They don't have a cheap plastic feel and it's just a better key. So props to the P1 designer who made this key, at least it looks, and remember this was 2014, this is 2019 in five years. They could have evolved the key, right? All right, next, one of my favorite keys of all time, the Rolls Royce. Uh, this is the new Black Badge Ghost with the Mandarin option where basically the interior car matches this. So it, the keys are color matched, so are the umbrellas. You can see high craftsmanship and again, very exciting, nicely designed key on the bigger side, but if you saw what the old Rolls Royce key was, it's not that bad. The old Rolls Royce key could have hurt someone because it was a brick. You could literally throw it at someone as a, in self-defense. But this key is half the size and twice as good looking. So good job, Rolls Royce. You didn't completely screw that up. The next key is this, uh, I can't even take this out. This is basically the Bentley key. It's a very simple key. It hasn't really changed. It's pretty. I mean, it has good, uh, it has good features. Like it's a pretty looking key. It has uh, very, very cool sleeve for it. They charge $700 for this sleeve, which doesn't make any sense with a box, but anyways. So you have this really nicer looking key for the Bentley. It comes with this protection fleet, but the quality of the key is high. You see the, the, the good blend of the chrome with the black and you have, the, you have the, the label and everything else. So it's a well thought out key. I don't think it's as nice as the Rolls Royce key because it doesn't need a pouch and it still looks just as nice if not nicer. But definitely a good step in the right direction for Bentley, just an overly large key. And my favorite key so far out of any car that I've ever owned is actually a Ferrari key, which is very weird because Ferrari's always been good with their red keys. And for the first time now with the SF90, they have changed that. I've talked very highly about this during the SF90 original review. Uh, this, they're 
comes with two keys, one gray, one with the actual color of the horse with the yellow. Uh, and it's a very beautiful key. There's a really nice place to put it in the car. It, it's gorgeous. It's of high quality. Every piece of it is high quality. And I think in general, it's just a really, really nice key. So I think that a lot of manufacturers can learn as the designs of their cars evolve, they should evolve the keys with the designs. I don't think it's that expensive. And I think it speaks very highly when you have a beautiful key. I and mean, if you see this on the counter, you wonder, what is it? It's gorgeous. Is it a key? Is it like, what does it do? Is it a lighter? Right? It looks like a lighter, right? So, but in general, I think this is one of the better design keys in recent times out of any manufacturers for anything. I mean, Konisek is a cool key, but it's more of a exclusive manufacturer rather than a mass produced, you know, key like the Ferrari. But anyways, just want to share with you guys some of the keys here in the uh, vault because I thought this would be a cool video to show you how the differences between the manufacturers. I would say the two best keys out there Rolls-Royce and of course uh, Ferrari. They did a really good job on both keys. So there you have it, my personal favorite keys. And again, if you want to know what it's like to experience 50 different cars and not have to lose any money doing it, click the link in the description. Uh, and of course, learn this skill. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and of course, tell me in the comments, who do you think has the best key out there? Not just out of the ones here, but if there's a key I should pay attention to that's better than all the others, I would love to hear your thoughts. Put in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video for Exotic Car Hacks.